Hey guys, this is Smart Yoke again and welcome back to my channel. With me here, I have a new smartwatch, the Vasking Fit M3, which I've been using for almost three weeks already. Thank you Vasking for sending me this real unit. And this is Vasking's first attempt to the smartwatch market. So the question is, is it worth trying? Let me share with you my honest view one by one. To be honest, I like the whole packaging here. White box. Fit M3 smartwatch. And at the bottom here, you have some information like step counting, it monitors sleep, spot record, heart rate monitor, calorie monitor, uh, and it measures SPO2 and weather, and also control your music app on your phone. Let's unbox this. And this is the actual watch. Let's put it aside. And this is actually the uh, charging dock with two pin and also USB A. And also, you have this very nice manual book by Vasking for this watch. And you have this extended warranty one year, which you can register. So, this is the actual watch. It has a 1.65 inch IPS display, which is considered bigger than some of the smartwatches in the market. And the resolution is 240 times 295 pixel. So with the correct brightness setting, using this watch under bright sunlight is not an issue. And the whole body here, okay, of the watch is actually made of metal, which feel very premium. The strap here is 20 millimeter size, very standard looking strap. But it's soft and comfortable to be wear. To be honest, I prefer this conventional design strap, which has zero learning curve when wearing the watch. So let's dive into the interface. To wake the watch, either you press the side button here or raise to wake. So there's no tap to wake. If you swipe down, you have these quick toggles, your battery status, do not disturb brightness setting and also your watch faces for you to choose and this is to search your phone torch light timer to control the shutter of your camera app on your phone and the weather app and to go to some of the settings here If you swipe up, you can check your messages from SMS, WhatsApp, etc. Unfortunately, the notification appear here is only five at the same time. And also there's no support for emoji. Swipe to the left, you have your step counter, your calorie in kilometers. Swipe to the right, you have your app menu. And that's all. Let's dive into the function of the Fit M3. So far, the heart rate and SpO2 monitor have been quite consistent, which I'm quite satisfied. And SpO2 monitor is very important, especially during this COVID era, whereby you need to measure your blood oxygen saturation from time to time. And also the steps and sleep counters were okay. Not the most accurate one, but it does a good job giving an estimation of your step and also your sleeping patterns. For the sport modes, you only have 8 workout modes. Walking, running, cycling, skipping, badminton, basketball, football and swimming. Which I think is a bit less compared to the competition nowadays. So I hope that Vast King can actually add on more workout modes uh, to this watch via software update if possible. But the good news is, this watch has IP68 ratings for waterproof. So you can actually bring this watch for swimming, no issue. This watch uses the Dafit app, which you can download from Apple App Store or Android Play Store. And the user interface is actually very user-friendly. From the app here, these are the watch faces that you can download. 
and apply it to your watch. So I already counted it, a total of 78 watch faces so far that you can choose from. From here, you can choose uh, to have water annotation to be appear on your watch. And if you choose others and you scroll down, you have this physiological cycle reminder, which can be useful for female users. So there you go guys, my full review of the latest Basking Fit M3 smartwatch. This watch is selling at $60 US on Basking official website. But you can use the $20 discount code, which I'll put in the description below. So what do you think about this new contender? Let me know in the comments below. Until then, take care, stay safe, and peace guys.